So you moved the van out for me? Yeah, but it didn't leave a run in this morning because it's like 65 out there. It's supposed to be around 65 all day. Yeah. It's going to be raining, cloudy still. Yeah, this does not feel like January. I got on short sleeves and I'm yeah. not taking a jacket. Yeah. I Don't see. need a jacket. Love you. Love see you in a bit. Alrighty, have fun. Yep. Don't need to heat up the van this morning, inside or out. Wow, look at you ready to go this morning. Well, there's the FRX bus pulling into the uh, shopping center here on the uh, north side of Fuquay. Picks up a few more people and then heads uh, express to downtown. It is definitely a, a wet, although not currently really raining morning out there. We're making good time, but goodness, there seems to be extra cars on the road with us this morning. I, I don't know. Last week, it never did seem normal busy. Um, I'm thinking today there are additional college kids back to school, but I don't know if that accounts for the difference. Uh, anyway, it's kind of crazy busy out here today, and it's only 7 a.m. Well, the city does have some low clouds this morning, but it's... Uh, not hurting visibility driving. I spun the poker stop here at the church a few times and I'm gonna head out of, da out of town through uh, Chavis Park and see if I can catch some new uh, Pokemon that are on the radar this morning. Don reminded me that today is dishwasher delivery day. I am over here at Chavis Park and I am astonished to see that those trees over there are blooming. I can't quite make out what it is, but I suspect some sort of plum or cherry. Doesn't look red bud to me. Well, I am happy to report that the um, construction for the new um, areas of Chavis Park that were approved back in 2014 are finally under construction and happening over here, it looks like. There's a chance the new um, community center and water play area and playground and such um, will be finished maybe for this coming summer. That would be really nice. You can kind of see over here on the construction fence what the new community center building is going to look like. But I know from the kids' perspective, the water area is uh, really what they're hoping for and going after. The new carousel building was the only thing that they completed for the bond so far, and that's that building there. You might remember, uh, I think it was last year sometime, Don and I uh, went down there and went on the carousel after we did early voting at the old community center, which is what's in front of me right now. Almost back to Fuquay, and you can see that uh, the fog is really picked up. Still not hurting visibility for driving, but uh, definitely, um, you know, making things pretty this morning. Okay, that's officially insane. My daffodils are actually blooming. So I'm headed uh, back to Fuquay. I've been home for a while. And um, I am meeting up with a friend who is going to share something called a SCOBY, a SCOBY, a... She's going to help me make homemade kombucha, kombucha. <laughs> I'll get her to pronounce it for me. A fermented beverage, a healthy beverage, a good gut health. You know, it's got microbes in it that are supposed to be good for you. Anyway, you put this fermentation thing in with tea and some form of sugar. We chose maple syrup and um, you let it work its magic and then you have this really nice tasting um, drink. Uh, Johnny loves kefir water, kombucha, all that kind of stuff. I like it too. So anyway, I'm excited because I've always wanted to try doing this, but I just didn't have another woman to show me what to do, and now I do, so um, let's go see what this is all about. I just passed the blue Model 3 on Main Street. I assume it's the close neighbor that I see frequently. I have had Ruby, been without Ruby now for over a week. 
and I've kind of retrained myself to stop waving like an idiot at people in Teslas driving the van. It's a little embarrassing when they wonder why you're waving at them. I'm sure, you know, I just wave at everybody that waves at me. They probably do too, right? But anyway, I was kind of a little sad moment there because I would like to have waved, but I knew that they would not exactly understand why I was waving at them. Honest, my other car's a Tesla. It is. Really, it is. I'm going to have her back soon. I'm sure. So I'm home. I really enjoyed um, chatting with the other mom. I had an unsweetened iced tea in the bakery, and that's all I had. That almost killed me, but that's I didn't have any sugar. Um, this is the tea that we made this morning with a little bit of maple syrup that the SCOBY is going to eat up. And um, I put in the SCOBY that she sent me home with. We got to leave this out of the sunlight. I think that'll be a good spot. Um, for seven to ten days before we take it out and do the next steps. Um, next step is to add some strawberries and apple and ginger and then let it ferment a little bit more. So I'm excited to try it. So you said while I was gone we got an email from Tesla with an update? Yeah, um, from the collision manager at Tesla. Uh, they've uh, repaired the, the rear bumper and they've received the plastic you know the black stuff they've got that and uh, they are currently working on the lift gate one of the dents in the lift gate is right on right really close to the edge so it's trickier to repair but they have he says they're not expecting any trouble it's just you know they got to do it and they're expecting to have the car by the end of the week so you know I guess that the, the outcome of this is good from the standpoint that they didn't find any additional damage. They've got all the parts that, uh, in their hands that they need to fix her. And it's just now they're doing the labor. Uh, that pushing out that dent, which is what I had expected they were going to do, you know, it's right on the edge. And that probably is kind of hard to get that because you have to get behind it to push it out. Right. Okay. Well, I would be thrilled to have my car back by the end of the week. Yeah. That's on target with what they said. That's right. Nope. So yeah, we'll I just understand. go with that and um, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. And that is great news that there wasn't any additional damage. That's right. Fantastic for everyone. That's right. Wow, it's, uh, it's raining now. The uh, dishwasher guys are supposed to deliver between one and five. It's now 1.30. Hopefully, actually, they won't deliver until I'm home and can help. Um, but otherwise, Don will have it under control. But uh, let me go grab Johnny. Well, right as I was pulling out of the neighborhood, a very large yellow truck um, came, and, I, and then they turned into our cul-de-sac, so I just knew that that was who it was. And I went back, and I talked to the guy, and... Unfortunately, they've sent the dishwasher in a truck that's way too big to come up the driveway. It's uh, much larger than the biggest UPS truck. It's a slightly smaller trailer than a standard tractor trailer, but not by a lot. So anyway, I told him to get himself turned around back halfway down the driveway, and then they'll have to huff it up the hill. Um, too bad it's raining. And uh, yeah, I wish I was there. I was hoping they would not come before three. <laughs> Well, this guy had him a little trouble going down the road. I hope it's not damaged too bad. The traffic was pretty kind and let him get over uh, reasonably quick after the, uh, I guess you'd call that the lift gate fell. Uh, the dishwasher is in the house. They got it inside, no problem. I'm not sure what Don's plans are regarding uh, hooking it up. If he's gonna do that right away or not. Uh, we'll be responsible for taking the old dishwasher away on our own. And that's no big deal for us with the GMC, but uh, yep, he sent me a picture looking good, looking good. Well, it's pouring down rain, but these two uh, stout young men carried this thing in the box cart, and it was completely packed up. And they brought it in here, set it in the kitchen for me. Then they took all the packing material off. But here's our new dishwasher, and it's got a very similar thing. This is this is the water sensor over here, I bet. Yeah, I bet this is the water sensor right here. That was the thing that caused me all the problem on the Samsung. And then, uh, you know, what it looks like from the back. And over on this side, the cat's looking. But there's nothing there. It's just the, the side of the tub. It's 
It's got soundproofing stuff on it. We've got the instructions up here on the top. True steam. Ooh. All that fancy stuff. So now I just have to uninstall the Samsung. She has approved the new dishwasher so I can <laughs> install it. It's the one she wanted, so we're good to go. So I have read the instructions, the detailed instructions and everything. Uh, the only thing different than on this dishwasher than uh, any dishwasher ever said, this one has a an additional, it feels like rock, soundproofing thing that goes in the front over the water hose and stuff that's those cutouts there for the yeah. water hose and you're wow. supposed to fold it at the perforation and it is perforated and um so it it's like some kind of sort sound absorbing material so i guess noise doesn't come out the front because you wouldn't want that no i wouldn't no, sound wouldn't. proofing is important to me that would be true so i put uh i uh started the cycle let it fill with water the old dishwasher, I started the cycle, let it fill with water, put um, a couple, cup or so of uh, white vinegar and a cup or so of, of household bleach in there, and let it do the entire first cycle, empty that water, so that got, but it was a little uh, foamy, so I ran it a, a couple more times just to fill and empty to get the suds out, but ooh, she's clean smelling. Right. I told Donnie to take it to Habitat Restore. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I guess. I, I mean, I hadn't actually... You weren't planning on far. storing it in the garage for a rainy day, were you? No, no, no. I wasn't, I wasn't actually doing that. Um, uh, you know, if I was a little hard up for money, I'd part it out on eBay because um, uh, I have bought parts for other appliances sure. on eBay. And, you know, you get for a circuit board, you can get 25 bucks. Stuff like that, but I, I'm not that ambitious. Well, you'd have to do the packing. I don't mind being your administrative assistant, but I don't. I don't do boxes. Right, I understand. Well, Don's certainly no stranger to getting the old one out because he's had to take it out so many times to work on it. Uh, apparently, our new little soap dispenser that we put in with the new sink is kind of in the way, so he needed to. Uh, Needs to pull that bottle down, I guess. It's a pretty good size bottle associated with that back there. Bet you didn't think you'd see me back up under here. But I am. Uh, see, my problem is that, uh, let's see, there, there you can see it. Right. Uh, drain hose is clamped with a nail way up there and of course the sinks in the way and of course you know the soap bottles in the way and the other soap bottles in the way you know just everything you have to do when you do this kind of stuff upstairs in the attic look what i got jb huh. i guess it don't fit uh the whole uh bank safe to be sure to not to run the whole uh the pipe sideways and then up um, so I'm following the directions. Uh, they say it needs a two inch hole and there's like an inch wide, like two inches tall. And I've got the water line and the osmosis line. So I'm just making the hole a little bit bigger in the cap. Okay. All I know is I was upstairs stowing the rest of the stuff, shuffling stuff in the attic. Yeah. And, um, I heard, uh, power tools. Power tools. I yeah. didn't understand why. Yeah. I had to come check it out, Donnie. That's right. So this hole where these wires are and stuff is the hole you're making bigger? Yeah, I'm making that hole bigger. All right. And hopefully not cutting any osmosis lines. I, no, don't cut anything. Wire. If you cut something, I'll be in town for a couple hours. No problem, sweetie. So, of course, if you want to use the existing hole, it's never quite large enough. So, you know, you got to whip out your fine tool. Be careful and have at it. There's the hole. 
work pretty good. That fine tool, uh, when you need one, there's no other tool like it, I got to tell you. Yes, I got a hole put in there. Oh yeah, I see it. It's a nice, yeah. generous looking square now. Yeah. And this is the new one. It's in position. I'm taking Johnny to Taekwondo. Is it going to be done when I come back? Absolutely. Okay. No leaks or anything. I'm headed into Kohl's to look at uh, houseware, specifically Valentine's Day stuff. I figured I better not uh, drive the van around town playing pogo with the engine running for a full 45 minutes. So this is an alternative all you need is love and a cat i'm sure don would be thrilled if i showed up at home with this hand towel <laughs> the next door big lots now and wow they have swapped the house goods for the furniture section and the furniture section is wow it's lots bigger well it's time to go back and get johnny i didn't buy anything at either store i would have got those towels if i really wanted them but $8.99 for two hand towels. It's just really hard to pay that. And that was the sale price, by the way. Um, when I can get really nice hand towels for a dollar at Guardian Angel. And they'll probably be better quality and actually absorbent. So, yeah, I like the kitty cat one. But not for $8.99 bundled with another one that I didn't really care about too much. You know, um... The St. Nicholas Christmas stuff was 60% off. And the funny thing is, is I'm sure they ran that at 40 or 50% off before Christmas. And 60% off of Outrageous is not a very good deal. So they can market clearance all they want, but until they come off of the price for real, which maybe that'll be in February sometime, I don't know. I wasn't too impressed with their savings. And, um, you know, Big Lots had a few clearance things too, but like there was one cardboard box I wanted. It was $8 originally and it was going to cost me $2. Well, Walmart had really nice ones for $3, you know, before Christmas and this one wasn't that great. So anyway, I didn't think the clearance was very clearance and I didn't buy anything. So I came home from Taekwondo and I kept my mouth shut. Yeah, she was really sweet. She didn't know. Um... She didn't call my uh, bluff there when I said I'd have it all done. Um, ended up, even though I cut that hole, the um, the hose wouldn't go through it and allow it to go all the way back. It was too tight of a turn, even though it's on the right side. They wanted the hole no more than, the top of the hole could be no more than four inches off the floor, according to the instructions. Well, that that top of that hole because the, there's a floor in the bottom of the ship of the sink and it's like like four inches so the hole i had is top of was like six so what that meant is the back of the dishwasher covered up the hole i was trying to cover up the hole so i ended up running the hose up the side they have a nice little channel you can run it up the side uh, and then from the top very similar to what the other one did and then down so that's what I did and the other problem I had was getting the lettering even with the counter um, the, it was uh, crooked basically so I had to futz with it to get it right the lettering on this one goes all the way across whereas on the old one it was kind of just here right so I guess maybe it wasn't exactly even before, but you just never would have noticed it, whereas this was really right. noticeable. I noticed it, yeah. And then I leveled it up in front to back and all that stuff. So it's the most level household appliance I have ever installed. I didn't say it was level. I just simply said it is the most level that I have ever installed. I asked Don if he wished he'd have paid somebody $50 to install it. What did you tell me? If they would have done all that and did it right, I would have totally for it. But, you know, because of the hole, the depth, um, it's really fat. The uh, leveling, the... Uh, I don't think, they'd have just slapped it in there and been done in 30 minutes. And, it, you know, oh well. And you would have taken it back out and ended up reinstalling right. it probably. If I hadn't had to cut the hole and I'd have known about that hose, that cost me at least an hour of futzing and doing and redo it and then to make the, the it all nice and straight that cost and still get it level see that was the thing is to get it straight and screwed up the level 
and so I had to level it, check it for straight, all oh, crap, adjust it, re-level it, check it for straight, all oh, crap, and so I only iterated through that like, I don't think more than four or five times. <laughs> I've seen Don happier. Let's just leave it at that. But uh, I, I'm going to feed him now. Yeah, she's going to feed me. Uh, I'm really. Uh, and look, look, look. Yeah. It's got lights. Yeah, lights it does. Are, it yeah, has and lights. And it's got the fancy third rack. Yep. With the side drops yeah. down and comes up. And yeah, I ran a rinse cycle, or it's got it, a refresh cycle to just to check for leaks. So. Okay, well, I'm going to let him load up because we never yeah. leave dishes She's in the, in the sink. sink. Right. And, um, you know, we got to figure out where that stuff's going. That's right. So, spatula up top. Miscellaneous items, drinking glasses, the bowls I feed the cats in on the middle shelf. And down on the bottom, pots and pans and the cheese thing at the back. Plates up here in the front, thermoses, looks like it's going to work just fine to me. Boy, we will never have that silverware thing full, not since we do dishes every day. Be a great one if you were going to just have a plate and silverware like Don used to do for a week. You could fit all your silverware in there. And it definitely glides nicely, as a matter of fact, if it glided, glid, if it slid any better, <laughs> we would be throwing the plates against the back wall. Uh, so I had to be a little careful. So on the one, on the one that wanted the Wi-Fi feature, so Don said his technology girl should go that's set right. that up. So that's what I'm doing. I've I've installed the LG ThinQ. It's no longer called Smart ThinQ app on my phone, and I'm just walking through the direction. So. I'm supposed to turn on the dishwasher and the power, the power button uh -huh. and then it wants me to press the Wi-Fi button on the dishwasher for three seconds. Here it is. The Wi-Fi LED blinks during the connection process. Well, where's the button though? Is that the button? No, there it is. There, okay. There. Yeah, it's blinking now. Now it's blinking. Okay. Turn on Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Wi-Fi network named the dishwasher. It's kind of like installing the um, yeah. software for my Canon camera utility. All right, I see it. Or the, um, oh, it's asking me for a password. The password to... Did it tell me what the password was? Uh, okay, hang on. We can redo. No, it's fine. You just let them watch them watch them bleed all over it. Okay. Um Maybe I get a little bit of an understanding about what it's like when I point the camera at you and you're like, but I hadn't even tried this yet and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Turnabout's fair play, huh? It's all right, sweet pea. We're going to get through so it. So I think I typed in the right password. I hit join. It's still flashing. Ah, uh, I hit it and, and hit join. It doesn't seem to sort of be incorrect password oh what's the password for the dishwasher hang on well it told me over here on this screen maybe i didn't it says it's case sensitive duh uh, maybe i didn't case didn't put it in the right case Nothing like having to type in somebody else's password. Right. Well, that's good, though, that it told me it wasn't right. That's right. Come on, Christmas. All right, now's where you can stop the video and we'll sort out the password. Okay. 
I literally typed in what they said versus following the convention they told me to, to use, but I got it sorted yeah, out now. Got, but now it wants the password for our Wi-Fi. Yeah, she is now connected talking to, to the dishwasher. dishwasher. All right. And we have a Wi-Fi network just for smart appliances uh, uh, uh internet of things should stuff. we move we would leave the router and right. provide some instruction that's right yeah da, 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 da. <laughs> hey we don't want to get a copyright oh, okay. violation well, i didn't do that right but everybody does that yeah everybody mm -hmm. yes we right used to do it at work all the time i saw a thing on tv last week that must be that must be that yet. must be good i think so either that or it timed out nope connected to the product connecting to the server it's just showing you know this go back and forth between my phone and yeah. the cloud all right i am uh, checking the product status how about appliance status it sounds so I mean, for a girl that calls her car Ruby, it's not just a product, okay? Yeah. It's dishy or something. I don't know. We'll yeah. come up with hot, a name for hot it. Hot mess. <laughs> not a hot mess. I'll show you hot mess. So it still says it's checking the product. We get 15% off on laundry detergent with smart reorders through Amazon Dash, it wants us to know. Mm. I guess maybe it can actually talk to Amazon and help us order. Well, Don already has... The Cascade pel um, Pack pods, pods on subscribe and save. So yeah. All right, the checking product status thing is taking a little longer than yeah. I'd like for it to take. Yeah. Well, one of the things is that uh, the LG you can use whatever they don't have particularly recommended. At least nothing in the book or manual I saw. Uh, they do recommend you use a, a liquid rinse agent, but you don't have to. It tell, it told us how to turn off the um, rinse if we don't want to use. So you have to the, hit power and then start every right, night? Right, power and start. Well, you know, it says it's checking the product status. I wonder if it can talk to it when it's off, but, well, it, just, sh but it shut itself off. I mean, I didn't do that. So I just really yeah. didn't even. It says it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. It's solid lit now instead of hard yeah, lit. That, top button is but the it's taking button. a long time this very first time so my only concern now mm -hmm. is that um my only concern now is that don had me do this on the home automation router mm -hmm. i hope my phone talks to the server and the server talks to the dishwasher because my phone won't be on the home automation oh. router it's a pesky it's fine. It's an old router. Yeah, it's but not it's not 5G. I won't be using that that's one right, in but, the house. But that that router talks to the internet just fine. All right. Well, we'll come back in a minute if it ever stops checking for product status. So what that means. Okay, so Marianne's got it on the Wi-Fi. Basically, the Wi-Fi does have some things we're a little rusty at it, but it's communicating with it. It had to put a firm, uh, software update on, which of course you would expect. It is now running. If you listen, you might hear something. I think it's filling up with water. Okay. Um, it just clicked. So it sounds like the water turned off. So here in a second, it should start washing. One thing I kind of don't like is the buttons. Oh, there it goes. It's washing now. And you listen real careful. Yeah, I would definitely say it's quiet. I would prefer that these, like power, it's got the little LEDs, but it's like... I would push the whole button light up, the little dots across the top. Of course, you can operate it with the, the door open and push the buttons and then close the door and hit start. You can close the door and then hit the buttons and it just takes off. Or you can have the door uh, ajar, manipulate the buttons, close the door and hit start and it'll take off. 
So we'll see. I'm going to check it for leaks, which is why we're running it a little early tonight.